Spark streaming workflow. So, Spark streaming workflow has uh, four high level stages and let us see all these stages uh, in, in a brief manner. So, the first uh, is to stream the data from various sources and these sources are such as Aka system, Kafka system, Flume, AWS or PyreQuest for the real time streaming data input. So, this particular streaming data is to be input using these different sources Aka, Kafka, Flume and PyreQuest. They will give the live feed of streaming data to the to the system. Now, second type of sources of the data include they are called the static data sources. So, they include HBase that we have discussed, MySQL, Postgres, SQL, then MongoDB, Cassandra and they are for the static or the batch streaming data feed into the Spark streaming system. Once these uh, once these data is streamed into the Spark system, the Spark can be used to perform on on it the machine learning using the machine learning uh, API that is MLlib. Further, the Spark SQL can also be used to perform further operations on this particular data. Finally, the streaming output can be stored into the into the various data storage system like HBase and uh, Cassandra, MEM, SQL, Kafka, Elastic, Search, SDFS, Local System, and so on. So, therefore. Uh, the, the Spark streaming workflow looks like this that input of the streaming data uh, comes from Kafka, Flume, SDFS, Kinesis, Twitter and uh, finally after processing they will be stored onto the uh, either SDFS, databases, dashboard and so on. So, incoming uh, these incoming data streams are now divided into the into the batches of input data which is given back to the Spark engine for computation and they will process it and gives back output this particular data. Now, this batch uh, the input data streams is now divided into the discrete chunks of data. For example, uh, the streams uh, which is handled by the Spark streaming is called the discretized stream or a D stream. So, D stream is, uh, is the batches of data of x seconds. So, here the batch is of let us say uh, 1 second. So, from 0 to 1 second batch is called is RDD at the rate time 1. So, the batch of uh, timing from time 1 to time 2 that is that next 1 second is called the RDD uh, at the rate time 2 and so on. So, the batches are divided into the into the discrete chunks in this example this is the batches of 1 second it is divided into the batches of 1 second in this example it can be minimum half a second batches for better latency uh, from end to end. So, once this particular data stream or a D stream uh, is uh, decided uh, or is uh, broken by the Spark streaming system, then various uh, transformation can be applied which is uh, also a part of the Spark streaming system. For example, uh, a flat map operation can be applied on uh, every D stream. 
so for example when a flat map operation is applied it will give uh, different words uh, which are um, uh, input or which are divided in the form of d stream of one second duration similarly uh, this flat map is when applied on all the case then it will extract the words from the input stream and uh, this can be uh, shown here in this example uh, of uh, uh, getting the hashtags from uh, the tweeter so tweeter stream uh, is uh, input into the into the system uh, into the uh, spark um, uh, streaming system so this is called uh, so tweeter uh, stream is given into the system and then uh, after dividing into the different d streams uh, it will perform the transformation on top of it which is called uh, the flat map and the flat map will be defined on uh, the, the tweets which is uh, given into, into the system and the flat map will perform uh, the, uh, the get uh, tag the hashtag it will get uh, as uh, the status and this hashtag will be uh, extracted uh, uh, as per the transformation so the transformation will modify uh, one d stream to create another d stream in this particular manner and finally it will from this tweet d stream it will extract the hashtags in this particular example so this is shown over here that uh, this uh, tweet uh, d streams when a flat map is applied it will give the hashtag d streams which is hashtag in, in the terms of for example number of uh, hash uh, cat hash dog and so on different topics it will extract and it will generate the new rtds uh, out of every batch therefore uh, after that these hashtags will be saved into the hadoop as a file and uh, this will be the output uh, which is uh, to be so output operation is to push this particular transform data in the form of a hashtag to the external storage and uh, here that is shown over here but not every time uh, we are going to store we can uh, perform various uh, analytics on this transformed uh, hashtag and maybe that uh, sometimes this uh, transformed hashtag uh, analytics will uh, require to update the website or uh, perform various other uh, applications uh, depending upon whatever we want to do on uh, this output so uh, for each uh, uh, so therefore uh, various uh, different programming languages are supported uh, so the example which we have seen uh, was written in scala the same application it can be uh, written using uh, the java so java api also is um, uh, available with the spark streaming system uh, now let us see about the fault tolerance so rdds are remember the sequence of operation uh, that created it from the original fault tolerant data so therefore rdds are uh, knowing uh, uh, using lineage about the sequence of operation uh, how they are created from the original so this we know from the spark uh, fault tolerance system and when the batches of input data are replicated in the memory of multiple worker nodes and uh, therefore we are trying to achieve the fault tolerance in this case so whenever the data is lost due to the worker failure it can be recomputed using lineage from the input why because these rdds remember all that things so so therefore uh, this fault tolerance uh, can also be uh, ensured uh, here in the part of the spark system uh, in spark streaming so let us see the key concepts so key concepts so far we have seen about the d stream which is a sequence of rdds representing the stream of data and uh, uh, this uh, d streams uh, are created out of the stream of data from twitter sdfs kafka flume and so on and there are various transformations can be applied on d stream which can modify uh, one from from uh, from the given d stream to another form of d stream so the standard rdd transformations which are uh, operations which are available for the transformations are the map count by value reduce join and so on 
Similarly, there are other stateful operations uh, uh, which are available in the form of transformations such as window operations and count by uh, value and window and so on. We will see all these stateful operations. Now, uh, besides the transformation, there are actions or the output operations also uh, to be performed on uh, the D streams which are available as part of the uh, Spark streaming system. Now, these output operation will send the data to the external entities, will save as Hadoop files, will save to HDFS for each to anything with each batch of uh, results. So, we will see that whenever an action or an output operation which we are going to perform either it will save onto the HDFS file, save as a file or it will perform further actions uh, using for each command. So, again uh, we will now count the hash tags uh, in this particular example. So, that means uh, once we get uh, the hash tags then we are going to count uh, these hash tags. So, these hash tags which is uh, now, now available uh, uh, using uh, this Spark streaming system, now we are going to perform an action or the operation as an output. So, the output here is uh, to uh, be the count by value. So, it will count how many hash tags uh, about uh, these hash tags are there into the stream uh, processing into the data. So, here we can see that uh, we perform uh, uh, this uh, count by value. Now, uh, we will uh, also see some more functionality uh, in the terms of this example which will count the hashtag over the last 10 minutes. So, uh, it's, uh, so basically for that we have to use the windowing uh, operation. So, we have to use the window of 1 minute and uh, uh, within the 1 minute after every 5 seconds uh, we are uh, now uh, monitoring uh, this hashtag and then performing the count by value. So, uh, this particular command, uh, this operation will have the window. So, window has uh, two uh, different uh, arguments, one is the length of the window. window size and window length. And uh, so, here it is uh, in the window of 1 minute duration for every 5 second uh, we are going to uh, count uh, this uh, by value. So, just a window uh, is uh, uh, can be seen here window has uh, uh, sliding window operation has the window length and the uh, window interval sliding interval. So, we can see uh, using this particular diagram that uh, this is the window length, this is of 1 minute and sliding interval uh, is of uh, that another duration. So, sliding uh, interval uh, uh, will give uh, the data for processing. Uh, so, whenever we say count by value, so this particular window length and uh, sliding interval together will give the data for this computation. So, here we can see that uh, in this particular example that, uh, that uh, we are going to count uh, all the data in, in that particular window. Now, one important thing is that uh, when, when the window uh, uh, slides, can see the sliding interval. There are two things, one is called window length and the sliding interval. So, when the window slides, then the this particular old data will be out of that window and a new data will enter into the system. So, the values uh, which we are now counting every time uh, is going to be changed in this way. So, what will be the new uh, uh, count? Uh, word count count by value that is uh, required to subtract this is the previous value and the new value is to be added. Uh, this concept uh, requires uh, the window uh, based uh, different algorithm to uh, do the analysis that we will see in the further uh, slides. 
So, a smart window based uh, reduction uh, uh, we will see different commands are there. So, techniques to incrementally compute count general, generalizes to the many reduce operations that needs a function to inverse the reduce that is subtract for counting. I could have implemented counting as the hashtag uh, reduce by key and window. Uh, so, uh, within uh, that particular uh, time that will uh, uh, do this operation uh, that is after sliding the new value will come and the old value will be subtracted and this is performed in the reduce by key and window operation. Arbitrarily stateful uh, computation this is also very important uh, computation in uh, uh, the spark streaming system why because this allows you to maintain a count of a particular um, words or event which is occurring into the stream of data. So, this is uh, to maintain the stateful computation. So, you specify function to generate the new state based on the previous state and the new data. So, for example, maintain per user mood as the state and update it when, when uh, it sees the tweet. So, update mood uh, definition uh, of a function it can be defined as the new tweets and the last mood which it has seen and uh, then it will update to the new mood. And so, this is an update function. So, whenever uh, uh, so, so, this particular function will uh, do this uh, update mood uh, using uh, the parameters uh, which is uh, given in the in the tweet. So, uh, so whenever a new uh, tweet comes, so it will perform this uh, update mood function and uh, this will be the update state by the key and uh, 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 so whenever the tweeter tweets by the user is given, so here the mood will be extracted and, and the state variable is maintained uh, to measure the to understand the mood. So, here that is uh, that is why it is called a stateful computation. So, a state is, man, is maintained all the time. So, and this state will be updated whenever uh, the, data, the stream of data is uh, uh, coming and uh, now there is a change of mood. So, it will be um, uh, extracted out of the stream and updated as the state. So, arbitrary combination of batch and stream computation example we are going to see now. So, there will be an intermix RDDs and uh, uh, the D stream computation operation. So, for example, the join uh, incoming stream with the uh, with a spam uh, SDFS file to filter out the bad tweets. So, using uh, this particular way of uh, joining, uh, uh, we can see that so, so, the tweet RDDs is now uh, joined with the HDFS file system and uh, we will perform various uh, filter on top of it and uh, this will transform the uh, tweets and the transform tweets will be given as the output. So, all these uh, functions are written in the Scala to understand uh, these particular uh, operations or the commands or the programs. So, I uh, advise you to refer the Scala programming language to have a better understanding of uh, the Spark streaming. So, Spark streaming D stream, uh, uh, D streams, uh, batches and RDDs. So, uh, again uh, let us uh, summarize all this is that whenever the data input data stream is coming, input streaming data is coming. So, uh, in the Spark streaming system, it will divide into the batches of 1 second duration in this example and uh, these batches are now uh, uh, performed various transformations and uh, an action and given back to the uh, Spark engine for uh, giving uh, the output. So, these steps are repeated for each batch continuously because we are dealing with the streaming data. So, the data is continuously coming in the form of streams. So, Spark streaming has the ability to remember the previous RDDs uh, to some extent. Therefore, uh, this uh, D stream and RDDs uh, together that is uh, D stream is basically the, the streaming data and RDDs are the batch data together if we add it will become the more power. For example, we can apply uh, or we can introduce the online machine learning. So, that means we can apply uh, the, the RDDs when it becomes an RDD we can apply 
the machine learning uh, the the libraries on top of it hence it becomes a online machine learning uh, technique that means machine learning applied on the d streaming using this model so continuously learn and update the data model uh, this can be performed using update state by the key and transformation so also uh, there is a uh, in this manner we can combine the live stream data with the historical data we generate we can generate the historical data model with the spark etc now we can use the data model to process live data streams using transformations we can also do the cp style processing such as window based operations reduced by window etc so from uh, d stream to the spark jobs uh, uh, we can see that every interval an rdd graph is computed from d stream uh, graph and for each output operation a spark uh, action is created and for each action a spark job is uh, computed so this is shown here in this particular example uh, uh, graph that it is a d stream graph uh, that input streams are coming and uh, all these input different streams we can perform a union on it and we can perform different transformations and then perform various actions so these uh, block of rdds are then uh, with the data received from the last batch interval is given back to the spark system in the form of rdd graph and rdd again will perform uh, these uh, uh, rdds and perform the union and uh, again apply the transformation and give the output so this uh, particular uh, from spark streaming when uh, when the when the jobs are given uh, for the spark then again another level of transformations can be applied before it can output so there are input streams which we have already seen uh, let us summarize that that uh, out of the box uh, we have provided the, for the input sources kafka sdfs loom aka actors raw tcp sockets and it is very easy to write a receiver uh, for your own data source so uh, these are different receivers which are inbuilt and you can also write down your own receiver for the, your data source also generate your own rddds from the spark and uh, push them as the stream so current spark streaming input output uh, we can so now summarize is as uh, kafka flume twitter zero mq and so on uh, the basic uh, sources are sockets file aka actor and so on so the output uh, operations are print save as a file uh, save as object files save as uh, hadoop files for each rdds uh, e for each rdd can be used as a message queue and db operations and many more things so d stream classes uh, different classes for different languages are supported scala and java d stream has 36 different values uh, value members and multiple type of d streams and separate uh, python api uh, will be provided now uh, spark streaming operations are summarized here uh, as the rdd operations and uh, some are the transformations such as uh, map and flat map that we have seen filter also we have seen repartition union count reduce count by value reduce by key join code group transform and update state by key are different transformations available uh, in the spark rdds now spark streaming window operations are available such as window count by window count, re, uh, reduce by window reduce by key and window count by value and window similarly for output operations in spark streaming various commands such as print save as a text files save as object files save as hadoop files for each uh, rdd and so on so therefore the batches of input data are replicated in the memory for fault tolerance data lost due to the worker can be recomputed uh, from the uh, replicated uh, input data and all transformed uh, transformation are fault tolerant and um, follow the exactly one's transformations so uh, uh, fault tolerance is uh, that is the received data is replicated among multiple uh, spark executors the default is 2 and uh, uh, this must protect the driver program there is only one driver running so if the driver node is running on the spark streaming and application phase driver must be restarted on another node and this can be handled using the zookeeper um, or yarn um, resource engine requires a, a checkpoint directory here uh, in the streaming context which so checkpointing saves the state on the regular intervals uh, typically every 5 to 10 batches of data 
uh, the checkpoint is being made. Uh, so, a failure uh, would have to replay the 5 to 10 uh, previous batches to recreate the appropriate RDDs. So, checkpoint done uh, to SDFS uh, or equivalent. So, streaming uh, back pressure, streaming back pressure will be enabled and all these uh, will achieve the fault tolerance. So, in nutshell we can say that uh, uh, checkpointing and uh, uh, replication together will ensure uh, the, the, uh, the recovery of the failures. So, performance if we see uh, that even the uh, grep and the word count performance so, uh, on a sub second latency uh, it is uh, for uh, it, it is achieved in uh, 1 second and 2 second uh, a very good performance uh, that we are now seeing here. Uh, compared to the other systems uh, this is uh, also showing the better performance that is the spark system is uh, um, uh, uh, having a good performance uh, and uh, storm is uh, basically achieving uh, the uh, uh, the higher throughput a uh, low throughput and uh, uh, spark is having achieved uh, the better throughput so fault tolerance uh, recovery systems are there so it recovers from faults or stragglers within 1 second uh, so this uh, also is uh, reported and uh, uh, now, let us see the Spark program versus uh, um, Spark streaming uh, program and here again uh, those uh, issues we have uh, seen that. Um, so, whether it is uh, coming from the Spark streaming or coming from the Hadoop file, uh, these uh, particular uh, uh, things are going to be uh, handled. Uh, in the uh, Spark streaming system both as a batch as well as uh, streaming data. So, all these things we have already uh, discussed uh, uh, there that is uh, for having uh, the unified stack and uh, uh, explore the data interactively to identify the problems and use the same code in the Spark for processing large uh, logs and use similar code in the Spark streaming for the real time and in the code we can see that uh, we can apply the, the filter and uh, uh, then we can um, also uh, uh, invoke uh, this uh, particular um, fault tolerant aspect and uh, then uh, invoking the um, Spark context and once the Spark context is invoked then the driver and uh, the executors are uh, uh, allocated and uh, they are basically able to uh, get ready for the computations. Mm -hmm.